Good morning guys, this is Rusty78609 in Central Texas, USA in his 16 foot travel trailer that he lives in and has lived in a travel trailer, not this one, but I've lived in travel trailers for about 30 years. I'm 72 years old. I live in Central Texas, USA. And right now it's dark outside, but it's supposed to be around 62 today for a high, so we'll see about that in just a second. But anyway, hey Google, good morning. Good morning, Rusty. The time is 6.32 a.m. Right now in Burnett it's 58 and cloudy. Today, it'll be cloudy, with a forecasted high of 59 and a low of 34. Have a good one. You too, dude. Dude is neutral. Dude could be male or female, right? I guess. But anyway, hey Google, what's the temperature in Alamogordo, New Mexico? <clears throat> in Alamogordo right now, it's 48. Anyway, just as a test last night i was pretending in my mind that i was traveling and camping in my rv and noticed how nice it was because it was about 55 58 degrees and that is a perfect camping morning nighttime temperature okay now daytimes can get up to around 85 in the desert and it's not too bad but at night if it gets down into the upper 30s it's a little chilly so having said that hey google What's the temperature in Bangor, Maine? The temperature in Bangor right now is 25. Not too bad. Warming up up there. Hey, Google, tell us a joke. Okay, here you go. Did you hear about the two thieves who stole a calendar? They each got six months. <laughs> what can I say? Oh, golly, here we go. We got Cajun Jameis. Travel trailer versus a lot of stuff. Rusty, you like me are getting along in age? Well, I'm not getting along. I'm just getting old. <laughs> well, I don't, you know, eight, never mind. They always say it's a state of mind. Yeah, right. <clears throat> Be that as it may, if we would have our druthers, wouldn't it be much better to have a class B like you once looked at? Yes, it would, except for one thing. <laughs> Cajun Jameis to get the minimum set up like I wanted was about sixty five thousand dollars sixty five thousand okay and uh, that's, I don't have that <clears throat> you know I mean I could I could force it but I wouldn't be comfortable because yo that's a lot that'd be a lot of debt but we'll see you know who knows you know I, I'm I'll, yeah, I may take a shot at it here in a year or two. We'll see. You know, and then that would be my only vehicle. See, I'd be living in it and going to the grocery store in it. So we'll see. But he says, today Bob Wells had an interview with Granny69. Yo, check out her rig. I really like her setup, Class B. Anyway, new would be nice. And he's got dollar signs. But Granny had it all figured out. Thinks she is a Texan. Uh, yeah, it's, it, man, I looked at that real close. I drove a couple of them. I drove the, uh, oh, I can't even remember what it was now. <clears throat> it was a Simplicity SRT Road Trek, I think. Uh, it's made by somebody else now. But, uh, yeah, it was the cheapest one I could find. It was around 65000 <clears throat> That's a lot. That's a lot. But we'll see. Hell, you know, debt's debt, huh? Yeah, if I, if, I'm, if I transferred this payment on this, 175 a month, plus my $300 truck payment in one, uh, then I could afford to buy a Class B. I'd, I'd be spending the same amount of money, but I'd have a Class B motorhome. The downside, kind of, is, you know, it would have to be your personal car as well as your traveling thing. And right now, you know, if I want to go to the grocery store, I go out and get my pickup and get 25 miles a gallon. I don't know what that, they do get around close to 20, though, 18 to 20 miles a gallon. So it's not too much of a, uh, an additional fuel, fuel call. Hell, I'll check on it today. <laughs> Grandma Patty, travel trailer, watching that RV pass, you made me aware of how glad I am you have a camera on the back of mine oh i have a camera on the back of mine it works while i'm driving so i can keep an eye on what's behind me it is very helpful yeah having a, a rear camera on an rv is great i'm sure sue d travel trailer did you check the price of getting the dsi installed it may be worth it yeah you can you can actually get it installed uh well you can put it in yourself and buy the kit for 
uh, it's around 150 bucks but I'm not gonna fool with it I'm fine it says I'm sure the wiring may be there no there's no wiring there because they make those campers like it is, is like a car uh, they would not change something midline just for one camper you may only have to buy the inside switch installed just thinking maybe folks that you did your fan could help uh, da, 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 da. no it, it's there, there's no wiring out there for this one mm -mm. there's no wire at all <clears throat> but anyway no thank you it's a good idea I, I thought about it getting one of those things and putting it in I'm not worried it's not a big issue it's really not it's you know once a day go light the pilot and then turn it off after I heat the shower water I do that once a day it's not a big deal uh, and in fact, if it was really bad and I didn't want to, I could just heat a pot of water in here and take a shower. It's not a problem. Travel trailer, Rondland 100. I have a Jayco 14-footer 14, 14 that's perfect size for me, but I sometimes think I'd like, I'd rather, I'd rather have a fixed-up cargo van for safety reasons. Just dreaming. Uh, always good to dream. You bet it is, babe. Dream, 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 dream. However that song goes. <clears throat> but yeah. No, I know what you mean. I know what you mean about safety reasons, too, because when I was in the Prius, yeah, the one thing neat about it was if there was any issues outside at night or any time, I could just crawl over the patch, get in the driver's seat, and psst, boogie. Uh, Hunter 167.19 on Travel Trader says, Soap is overrated, LOL. Uh, I guess it is. I haven't used it uh, since I was in the Peace Corps, and that was in 1994. Uh Danny B. 1954, Travel Trader. I have had just about every form of an RV except a Prius. They all have advantages and disadvantages. This leads to the impression that the grass is greener elsewhere. No matter what I have, it always seems maybe something else would be better. It's true, just like me in the Class B. Uh, it, it just, in my mind, I can see myself cruising and parking and having all the stuff, and yeah, it's it, it, and then the reality is it's it's uh, it's not what you think it is. I, I got you. Yeah, the thing about the Class B, though, is it has a wet bath. It do. It do. Cajun Jameis uh, upsizing. Yeah, I, I just had fun with that video because I was just, just thinking out loud. Uh, it says, well done. Thank you. PJ Biker Full 2018 Coachman Clipper, Coachman Clipper Cadet 16 CFB. He left the link to one. Thank you, PJ. And this is... Uh, this is Pat, used to be Wrangler, uh, he, whatever he said, he got a lot of response to. <clears throat> Upsizing, yeah, that's what it is. Good posting, Rusty, you tell it like it is. My house is only 1,277 square feet, and it, it is a pain to keep clean. I would not want to have a 3,000 square foot home. 1,277 for me on my own is plenty big enough. Have a nice evening, Rusty, Pat, formerly Wrangler. And then Avlis comments, he says, I'm in the same size home as you, and you're right, it's huge. But it was the smallest one in the neighborhood I wanted to live. I kept fighting the dirt, but the dirt is winning. I keep fighting the dirt, but the dirt is winning, and the maintenance is starting to beat me too. Smaller is better as we get older. Yeah, this thing here is heaven. I can, I can clean this thing with my hand in 10 minutes. <clears throat> you know, I can take a... Uh, what I do is I get a washcloth. I buy those little packages of washcloths at uh, Walmart for like, you can get 20 of them for like $3.50. And so they're basically about 20 cents a piece. Yeah, you just soak them in, uh, you know, vinegar and water or whatever you want to use. And then I just wipe the floors down and wipe, the, wipe everything down with that uh, deal. It takes about 10 minutes. Get, and that gets everything. That's better than, vac I do, I vacuum too every now and then. But uh, th that gets it cleaner than vacuuming. It does, but you're not going to do that in the house. <clears throat> uh, anyway, this is uh, uh, PJ Bikerful leaving a link to stand guard something at the door of your mind. He's got a link to some oh Jim Rohn. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, Jim Rohn's the guy that I got that idea from, and it's stuck with me since 1987. <clears throat> Long time, 30 years. Is that right? Yeah, I guess. 87, 97. Yeah, 30 years. Uh, anyway, PJ left a link. Thank you, PJ. Bill K. And and that, Rusty, is why I never sing in public. I sound too much like you. <laughs> I, I know I can't sing, and I don't care. Hell, I, I'm not trying to make a record. Upsize, I'm just having fun, guys. Sherry Sprinkle, you could have one of those sheds, Dirksen, turned into a small house built on your property, one like you showed us 
that had been completed, I could, and I looked at that. I did, but I don't. I don't want one. I mean, this is this is home. I mean, I've been living in travel trailer. This is fine. You know, I can't tow that down the highway. I mean, I could get something else to drive down the highway, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, upsizing, uh, B bowling Seven Eleven. It says your place is too small even to be to to even be haunted. <laughs> and it was, and if it was, you only need one foot out the door. I hear you. Yeah, it, it, there's only room for one of me. Todd Dunn, upsizing. Given your age, rub it in, Todd. I think you're likely upsizing to a home will be upsizing to a nursing home. <laughs> no, I ain't going to a nursing home. You you quit that dream unless unless I, I am brain damaged and, and don't know. <clears throat> but serious, my parents were full-time RVers from when my stepdad turned 62 until he was 84. At that time, they sold their RV and upsized to a home. They bought a single-wide 14 by 50 modular, which felt huge to them. They lived out their lives there. Yeah, you know, I've looked at modular homes too, but I, I just, I'm fine, man. I've got a good spot here. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Comment call, Sherry from Texas. Thanks, Rusty. It's always good to hear your talks. Thank you, Sherry from Texas. Travel trailer versus vans, whatever, cars. Robert Bingham. I still have a few years before me and my wife go full time and we have been looking at vans, motor homes and pull behind. Man, what a tough decision. We are going to Hershey, Pennsylvania, September for RV show to look at more. We went to Columbus, Ohio RV show, but not really a whole lot to see there as in different manufacturers. Any good video was anyway, good video was glad to see that. Well, thank you, Robert. I hope it helps you. I hope it could probably confuse you. Uh, this is upsizing. I see you 812. It says, what's the difference between a 16 CFB and an FB model? I really don't know all the differences other than the uh, the regular Clipper Cadet comes with a roof air. It comes with a microwave. It comes with a sound system. Uh, it comes with the bathroom surround around you know, the little plastic thing. Uh, what else? Uh, anyway, a lot of stuff I didn't want, didn't need, wasn't going to use, so I didn't get it. That's all. And it weighs about 400 pounds more, 300 pounds more. Uh, Angela Williams rethinking something. A lot of these people doing RVs are looking to get your financial support called patrons. That has blown me away from following them as I wonder if truth is coming from their mouths. You know, I, that patron thing is a scam, okay? The way that Patreon stuff works is... Uh, in my opinion, I mean, it's a scam. I wouldn't use it. I don't want to use it. Uh, you know, I'm fine. I mean, I make money from YouTube, and then if you guys choose to use the Amazon link, fine. If you don't, don't worry about it. Uh, <clears throat> but the Patreon thing is you sign on with them, and then, then the money flows to them. They take their cut off the top and send you the rest. And that's, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't, that's not going to work for me. Upsizing Rondland 100, you have the perfect setup for you, true. I think the hard part is figuring out what the perfect setup is for any particular person. I live in a huge house which cost, uh, which most of is rarely used. I could live in a much smaller place, but like you, I don't want to live in an apartment or condo with all those people and dogs and kids right on top of me. So for now, I'm put except for when I go traveling. This town needs a nicely de developed retirement neighborhood for folks like me who want to downsize but ain't here yet. Maybe someday the builders around here will figure that out. Well, they'll figure out whatever makes them the most money, okay? But anyway, good luck with that plan. Uh, this is M MRBR 549, upsizing is member 549. <clears throat> I hope you are able to live the way you want as long as you want the best that any of us can hope for is to die in our sleep when that day comes and not in a nursing home i agree with that <clears throat> keith meyer good job on upsizing i keep i enjoy listening to you thank you upsizing sarah j a class b plus r c have the regular trailer space as you grow grow with size the b vans have no room like you have in your unit for your limited stuff that may cramp me in the tiniest okay level fun discussion have a good night well thank you sarah this is chris o'day 
O'Day. How you doing, O'Day? Upsizing. I lived in a 1,400 square foot manufactured home for 15 years and have had no problems. Very comfortable with low utility bills and very easy to maintain. I live in northern Ohio and it has withstood extreme temperature swings and plenty of snowstorms and thunderstorms. <clears throat> well, you've had some good luck and I'm, ha I'm happy for you. This is the 2018 lightweight Travel Trailers, Angela Williams, have a scamp and have scamp and casita dealers re-certified the molding situation in the camp for the, from the humidity. I, I don't know. I don't know what they've done on that. I know they might, might have had a little issue with it. Jane Delaney, Travel Trailers comparison. Hi, Rusty. If I had the finances to buy anything I wanted, I think it would be a Class B, such as a road trip. Yeah, road track's nice, but man, they are expensive. However, I'll be content with a small travel trailer once I make a decision on which one. Good video. Thank you. Good luck, Jane Delaney. Grandma Patty's got two in a row here. Check out Texas Flip and Move. They buy up tiny old houses that are ready to be demolished, haul them off to be remodeled, then auction them off. That's interesting. Thank you, Grandma Patty. You might check that out. Uh, Grandma Patty again, even if you depreciate a thousand dollars a year, there's no way to rent anything for a thousand dollars a year. You couldn't even rent a room for that. No, you couldn't rent anything for that. Scotty's got a couple here. <clears throat> cool comment call, Rusty. Thank you, Scotty. I laugh at my own joke there. So corny, Rusty. Well, that's all right. It, 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 as long as you got a sense of humor, Scotty, enjoy life. David Lewis, there's no place like home. This is it. <laughs> I hear that, babe. <clears throat> this is Scotty again. Cool travel trailer and car versus pickup van. Talk rusty and driving your truck. Thank you, Scotty Thompson. This is Bill G1527. Hey, Rusty, it really boils down to a person's definition of freedom. Your lifestyle is your freedom. Others with an apartment or home have their definition. Well, I agree with that. Others that camp on weekends that have a stick and break have theirs. It really is whatever works for your own situation and what you can afford and want what fits your lifestyle and what makes you happy i totally agree whatever floats your boat john cook upsizing i can i can't imagine you being scared of anything rusty hell you got married twice hello <laughs> well, boy ain't that the damn truth buying a used something thank you for the tip rusty this is benjamin benjamin turubiartis this is Scotty, cool upsizing from RV to home talk, Rusty. Thank you, Scotty. This is Rocky Mountain Uber Camper Girl. Great video. This is on upsizing. Great video. I'm getting ready to go full-time this April in my cargo trailer conversion 6x12. I'm retired collecting my pension now. <coughs> I have kept my LTCI, whatever that is, with MetLife and wondered if they would come out to my travel trailer later in life to help care for me if and when I need it. <laughs> your thoughts. I have no thoughts on that, girl. You're on your own. Uh, MMP Cody, upsizing. Good video, Rusty. Kind of the opposite approach compared to the other videos. If they ever make a law outlawing, outlawing living in an RV, then you would not have a choice. Good idea to think about it. Honestly, though, if that happened, I could see you just getting a trailer or a small double wide and put it on your land. I doubt I'd do that. <clears throat> SRM upsizing. Hi, Rusty. Brother, you are so correct when talking about a single man living in a sticks and bricks home. When I was married, my small 13 square, 1,300 square foot home was the perfect size for a couple. But now that I'm divorced and have lived alone since 2012, this house is so big for a single man in his late 40s. It's really crazy to have more space than you really need. And you were also correct when you said that living alone in a multi-room house can get scary. Yep, I sometimes wake up wondering, as you said, who's in the other rooms with a big butcher knife, LOL. Really good video. Cheers. Thank you. James Lyon, this is the last one. A bigger casket for you so you can roll over yeah no, I, I got you with that but anyway guys uh <clears throat> as always a lot of good comments and i appreciate it. and some of you somebody used the amazon link yesterday which i appreciate thumbs up to you pat 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 or whoever y'all were 
you guys. <clears throat> hey, you guys. Remember that? And uh, But anyway, uh, hey, Google, tell us a joke. One joke coming up. If you cross your fingers after surgery, you'll heal faster. Or maybe it's just super stitching. Super stitching? Did you get that? <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, this is Rusty78609 saying thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye, bye, bye. Anything you want. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of my videos. Uh, I'm an Amazon affiliate. I get a small commission and it doesn't cost you anything. If you want to go to the trouble to use it, do so. If you don't, don't worry about it. <clears throat> what else? Drink plenty. Oh, yeah, drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts <clears throat> per day is good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and, and it'll help you lose weight because you'll be full of water. <clears throat> what else? Uh, da -da 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 oh, take deep breaths. Breathe in, hold it for a few seconds, and then breathe out. Why? Because that relieves stress, and relieving stress lowers your blood pressure, and that's very good for you. What else? Uh, stand guard at the door of your mind. Don't let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head, okay? You got that? And what else? Uh, stretch, 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 walk, 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 do all that good stuff. Keep your health. I'll do that in just a minute because I'll be able to do it here at home because it's warm enough. When it's above 50 and no wind... Perfecto mundo. But anyway, guys, again, thank you for using the link, <clears throat> the Amazon link, and uh, enjoy your weekend. This is Saturday, I think, and uh, we'll do something soon. When the temperatures get up around 50 in uh, New Mexico, and the, for the lows where I'm going to be going, I'll be going. Anyway, anyway, adios, guys. Bye-bye.